Hello everyone. We are going to do the breakdown of my P.O. box. Now there's two ways you can do it. Um, if you want to do it in half the time, you can do 26 weeks or you can take the full year to pay it off. Of course, doing the full year of putting money in to pay it off at the end of the year. Like, it depends on when you got your P.O. box. I got my P.O. box, it was in November, I will have it for almost two years in November. So my payment that I have to make, because um, I, I pay it for the year, so I don't have to worry about it three months down the road or six months down the road, I put the money in the uh, sink of fund envelope and I make sure I have enough in there to pay it in full for a whole year. So you can do monthly or you can do um, you know, 26 weeks. I, this time, I took money out for 26 weeks to pay for it. I took a little extra out just in case the P.O. box goes up this year. It didn't last year, but if it goes up this year, I want to make sure I have that little extra in there to, to take care of if the, if the post office box um, goes up, if it increases. So, we're going to do for the whole year. I took mine out because I didn't start it until later on in the in the year, but I did mine for 26 weeks. But starting in December, when we do the P.O. box again, I'm going to do it for the full year because this way it would be a lot easier, you know, for that. So we're going to do 11 months is what we're going to take out because you have to pay for it minus due in November. So I'd rather take it out from December to October and then pay for the P.O. box in November for the full year. This way you get like an extra month of paying. So you're actually paying for 13 months instead of 12 months. So we have 11 months is what we're going to do. Okay. Now, I'm taking out 130 like I said I'm going to take out that little extra because just in case the P.O. box does increase this year I'll have that little bit of extra money in there to take care of that um, $130 and we're going to divide that we're going to divide that by 11 months okay which comes out to fourteen dollars and thirty cents so we're just gonna up to um, we're just gonna up it to fifteen dollars okay now we're gonna take this fifteen and we're gonna divide that by four weeks in the month and it comes out to three dollars and seventy five cents so we're gonna go fifteen divided by four and then we're just gonna go four dollars so $4 is what you would have to put in every week to get $130. We're going to put $130 up here. $130 to pay for your P.O. box for the full year. Now, if you want to do it for 26 weeks, then we would have to go 26 weeks would be 6 months. So 6 months. I'll break them both down. Okay. That's still going to come out. We're going to still going to say $130 for the six months. Okay, so we're going to go $130, and we're going to divide that by five because you have to pay it in November. So divide that by five. comes out to $26 a month. So we're going to go $130 divided by five months is going to be equal $26 a month and then you're going to divide that by 4 All right, $26 a month and you go 26 divided by 4 it comes out to like $6.50 a week but we'll round it up to $7 so in the meantime when we have we have this we're putting in $15 a month, so 15 times 11 months, you should have $165 in 
for the 11 months which should be more than enough in case the the PO box goes up you know it'll be more than enough to cover that increase that it went up to so we're just going to say for this one it is $165 for 11 months okay and this one here we're doing we're going to do seven dollars a week so it's twenty six dollars a month twenty six dollars times five I put six months it's five months oh no that's right uh, you're paying it in six months all right I'm confused myself all right let's do this over twenty six dollars a month times five months comes out to exactly one hundred and thirty dollars for five months okay one hundred and thirty dollars if you do it the 26 weeks which would be six months at 130 or if you do the 11 months for the whole year at 130 so you would have to put in if you're going to do it yearly for the 11 months you would have to put in four dollars a week for that or if you're going to only do it for 26 weeks which would be you know say for the last five months or whatever then you would have to put seven dollars a week in so this is what I did for this year but I am going to do the 11 month one um, starting in December when I pay for my PO box in November so starting in December I will have the hundred and sixty five dollars that I'm going to be saving and that should be more than enough to cover for the box for the full year and also if there was any increase if they increase the box from year to year that sh that should be enough to cover it so but this is how I do my post office breakdown so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the YouTube family. If you go out, please stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.